thank you guys for coming through uh, to be with me today and see how my everyday works. My name is Jude Thomas Dawam. I want to say good looking out to Blueprint of Frick for coming through today. Now, my typical Monday to Friday, I wake up at 5 a.m., sometimes before 5 a.m. That's because I've prepped for my show a day before. Uh, I wake up by 5.30, I'm in the studio. The first thing I pick is this thing. It's called uh, Programs Log and Advert Log. So I want to know the programs that are going to come on my shift, you know, and if the, the time is right and blah, blah, blah. That's a long story. And then this is where the salary is. If you miss this one, the fee come out and for your money. So when you, when you make sure this one is, uh, you're good, you know the time that you're playing your program, then you check your microphones, make sure they're, they're acting very well. Because sometimes, if you just talk and the thing goes shut down, let's just say you don't talk to yourself. You know that kind of thing, that's you don't decrease. But this is the job we do. Sometimes you just sit down and you say, is someone even listening to me? But that's just by the side. And then you find out if all your adverts are in there. When you're done, before 6 a.m., before the show kick starts, you pick up, you, you, you introduce, you open the microphone, and then I go, good morning, Enugu. It's a beautiful day, whether it's beautiful or not. It just... It's got to be beautiful for someone. Even if it's sad for me, someone's got to be happy. So it has to be a beautiful day, whether we like it or yes. So uh, that's a typical morning for me. And then the rest of the gang joined me. It's called the Breakfast Club. So I make sure I wake everybody. We've been doing this for what, six years? Wow, still counting. And I remember we used to be two. <laughs> used to be two with Tobeda Diva. And then there was Wendy. I'm not greedy for now. I would not go. I would not enter different. When is a designer now? Tobe is a businesswoman now. And I, and I still just love radio. I think um, radio makes me happy. No matter how sad I am, the minute I open the microphone, I just feel happy. Then after here, once I'm done at 9 o'clock, Political Voices comes in. I go back to my office and... Uh, I, 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 listen to some of the stuff that we've done and try as much as possible to correct some of the mistakes for the next day. So that's a typical day for me. Yeah, settling down in Enugu wasn't something I planned, actually. I, I, we, we, we all came down together, myself, Tobe, Freestyle, and we gave ourselves one year. We said, we just come one year. If one year just do, we don't disappear. But then something happened. Uh, before we came in, we heard that there was a lifestyle radio station and then had some issues with uh, government stuff and the lifestyle radio ended here. And we just thought, okay, it's time for us to come and bring something different to, to, to the city. Uh, when we got to Enugu, I now fell in love. <laughs> I can't come marry. So it's now very difficult to leave. You cannot leave your family here. But there's a time, of course things change who knows i might not be here next year or before the end of this year who knows but then most important thing is enugu is a beautiful city it's been amazing i didn't even know i could act like um my friend nanny boy uh, has this thing he was doing was writing a book uh called mommy why and then he just created a character and said i could play the house that character and i was laughing at him i said dude man your film even me said i'm not good by him and then he kept he, he believed in me and then called me up uh, this day and said uh jude you're shooting tomorrow and i was like okay no problem uh if it's your movie no problems because i thought it wasn't gonna go anywhere and then the worst thing happened we got there and he said i was shooting with nstob I said, is this the same as Obia the see for film? We don't have that two snakes. Superstar. I said, yes. I said, I don't die. But then when I got there, NS was really amazing. He was cool. He, he just told me, you know what? You can do this. I said, I've never acted before. And he said, you can do this. And that's it. And the next thing, I was nominated for an award, Best Supporting Actor, alongside GD Kosoko and a lot of other people. I grew up watching GD Kosoko. Come on, man. And then from that point, I just say, ah, so I said, be at. Now I'm Denzel Washington. If he call me tomorrow, who knows? Uh, my work so far is fun in Enugu State. It's been fun. I, I, I tell people that I get paid to have fun. Uh, I get paid to make other people happy. So I think it's like the best job in the world. <music> huh. That's a very tough one because I think a lot of things wrong. But then one thing I'll say is a lot of them are selfish. 
um, I know I helped my brother syndrome is just everywhere. Um, in the entertainment world, nobody wants to stick his neck for another person. Nobody wants to support the other person. There's that, there's that fear of this person will come win me. This person will come make name. He will come forget me. You know, and I think if if I was to pick a word, it would be fear. They're scared. Entertainers are scared. Now. To list four things that will make entertainment grow in Enugu State. They need a television station in the southeast. They need a television station, a lifestyle television station in Enugu. Um, people need to start paying for shows. You don't expect me to put up a show. I spent so much money. You know, I've, I've called everybody. I've done radio rounds. I've put up my adverts. I've paid for all. I want one to enter for free. Even the kingdom of God is not free to enter. You go walk. You go all zoo. So I think... That's second, you need to pay for shows. Number three, I think there should be diversity in radio stations. I think all the radio stations sound the same. Um, there's so many, you know, ideas on radio that people have not really opened up to. We have, we have jazz radio, we have old school radio, we have so many things, but everybody just wants to go into the same market. So I think that should be diversified. And then uh, lastly, we need a cinema. It's very important. We need a cinema. At least that's entertaining enough. Just go there, sit down. You know, you have stuff coming up. A lot of movies are being shot here in Enugu State, and yet you cannot premiere, which is bad. So I think those are some of the top four things I think we should look into. My music career died after I lost the record label. I was signed, we were signed on the same record label as Cookie. Maanye ni banga. Yeah, I was signed on Dafella Entertainment that year. And that was after Star Quest. I played a guitar. Yeah, so I didn't say that, sorry. I played the guitar. Now, we were signed. Cookie were the first artists to go out there. They were successful. I don't know if that is success, but they, they were popular. Now, they, later on, uh, the record label had a problem with the management company, which was Kiss Entertainment. Then I re recorded like almost an album with them. And they just shut everything down. Bagam. And at that point, I just said I was tired. I had put in a lot of work into music and all of that. But then uh, that just died there. That day I sat down and I said, let me just go back and become a pharmacist that I, that I am or I was at a particular time. If I was given a second chance, I would have uh, gone for cinematography. Uh, but I don't regret going into sciences because it learned, I learned a lot. Uh, it opened my mind to a lot of things. And from there, I could still do radio. So I just, I just feel it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, I miss Abacha. Oh, the original Abacha. Like, when you go to Lagos, what they sell, I don't know, is maybe Abacha. You know, that, that, that's the guy from the north, right? But it's Abacha, it's different. Like, it's, it's amazing. Then secondly, I'm going to miss the... The security, there's so much peace, there's so much um, great, great stuff. And then I'm going to miss the sight of beautiful girls because they're just cool like that. They just smile at you for nothing, you know. Uh, babe, you know, I'm not chasing them, just, just saying. They're beautiful, they're everywhere. And then I think number four, what I'm going to miss, the people. Goodness, I made really great friends. I made so many amazing friends here. Uh, most importantly, I think I'm going to miss Dream FM because Dream FM is like a child. We started it off and wherever I am, I would always wish for Dream FM to be bigger than what it is. There's this Amala woman who is at, um, what's it? Otiba Joshua. Ah, that woman, Amala. Amala has BSc in law. You know, she's, she's just amazing. The Amala is nice. So I think I'm going to miss that a lot. I know there are so, so many Amala joints in Lagos, but then to now get comfortable with one is going to take some time. But then I love this woman at Oti Yeah, I think that. Okay, I think at the, at the breaking point in my career, I think I have two. One was when I interviewed Baba Ngida. Ah, I was shaking all over. I was sweating my palms, my hands, and he knew I was scared. But he was calm. This was the president that, like, 
I just say, ah, if I succeed after this one hour, I don't amma. And then I did it successfully. And secondly was when I had a live telephone call from US uh, with uh, Kobe Bryant. I was doing a show then at Kiss FM called Music and Basketball. And uh, I had this guy who worked with BBC, Graham, who connected me to Kobe Bryant's manager. And uh, this morning I got a call from him and said, okay, we heard about your show. Next week, Saturday, we're going to call in. And it was like a dream. And then the next Saturday they called in and at that point, I say, uh, I don't, I, I think I have two breaking points. But then the lowest point for me was, uh, I think the day I was reading the news and I, I read the news of the death of Peace Square's mother. And this was a woman we, we all grew up. I didn't know, I didn't check the news. I just came in, I was reading entertainment. I think it was in Abuja then. I was reading the entertainment news. I just picked it up and I went live on air. And this was me announcing the death of the woman that used to, we used to go and buy bread. Like, you know, it was, it hit me so bad. I almost paused on air. Uh, but then, you know, it, uh, looking back now, I, I, I still see the growth and the mercies and the love that people have for radio and have for me. It just makes me forget some of the tough parts. Yeah. <music> The advice I'll give my younger self, ah, it would be, um, oh, the advice I'm going to give my younger self, you for how much time, you know, like you for, you for, at, at 19, you'd have, you know, started radio somehow. I had opportunities to go on radio then, I refused. Like, I think by now, maybe... I don't be grandpapa, I don't own my own radio station. My younger self, I'm talking to you. At 30, you should have your own radio station. My younger self, if you can hear me, at 35, you should be able to, to be at the top five richest men in Nigeria. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. My younger self, be nice to people. Take people for who they are, what they are, how they are. Respect them. Because trust me, your brothers and sisters, you were born from the same family you quarrel. Don't expect people to be angels. Just accept, accept them for who they are and adjust yourself. I think basically that's it. So I want to say thank you to Blueprint of Freak for coming to do this whole video. Thank you so much for coming to our studios, Dream FM, uh, right here, 92.5. If you ever find yourself in Enugu, that's the only radio station you should listen to. Any other radio station, boring. All right, and also I want to say good looking out to Lucas Ugo. Amazing photographer, I'm telling you. I feel like a superstar right now. The guy take my picture. And finally, TN. I mean, the guy, the guy wait, after you don't dress me like this, you're not going to collect this cloth too. Thank you so much for making me look good. And thank you so much, guys, for coming through as well today. I hope uh, we get better. Make, let's make Enugu better. Like they say, Enugu is in the hands of God. Okay. All right. <laughs>